Hey everybody, welcome to a tutorial set on importing items into Real Flight uh, Simulator. We're going to talk today about importing KEX files into Real Flight Simulator, and there will be other series of videos on how to create some KEX files, some basic ones, and then also uh, some different editing stuff for the airports in. Real flight, so you can get started and learn some stuff like that. So today's tutorial, we're just going to start with a KEX file that we have here for a uh, tower that we have. It's also really important to note that we have the TGA file uh, for this as well. Uh, this KEX file is mapped to that, so Real Flight will be looking for this TGA file as well. So you'll need to make sure that you have that as well. We're going to use the desktop as our directory today. So what you're going to want to do is go into Real Flight Simulator, you go up to Simulation here, go into the Import function or label there, and go into the KEX. And the Import Wizard pops up here. We are going to click the Browse button, and you're going to go under the directory that you have your KEX file under and your TGA file, and go ahead and click Teletower Standard or your KEX file and click OK. Go ahead and click Next. These are the different options of what type of object it's going to be. Airplanes and helicopters have different properties than airport objects, than helicopter blades, so it depends on what object you're importing. Um, but this one is just going to be a plain, generic airport object. But if you are making your own airplane or helicopter for real flight, then you would want to select one of those. Go ahead and click Next. This is the type of airport object it's going to be. So um, you can have dynamic stuff if it's moving, a projected one, where if it's just like in the background, I think, is what that one is. Uh, windsock object, Ferris wheel, roller coaster object, windmill object. These all have different properties in the motions that they move and whatnot. And so you can have different changes in that. Um, but most of the time, you know, you just stick with static scenery, scenery object, which is what we're going to do today. This is the type of material that you want to import it as. Uh, there are different options here for how it behaves with and how it interacts with air, other aircraft and whatnot. But this basic one, um, we're going to use generic uh, because we're not planning on landing any aircraft or doesn't really matter what type of material it is. So we'll just click generic and even suggest using generic. And you're going to click finish. And uh, I already have this one imported. You normally won't do that, so I'll just overwrite it. And you click OK, and then it'll give you your confirmation down here that your import was successful. So that's how you import a KEX file. I'll have a follow-up video on using that object in real flight uh, coming up next.